Hey ladies and gentlemen, this is Bronco Juggalo, and today I am reviewing Dario Argento's Dracula, also known as Dracula 3D. Now this is directed by Dario Argento, and stars Asia Argento, Dario's daughter, as Lucy Weston Ra, Rudger Hauer as Van Helsing, and Thomas Kirchman as Dracula. Which is very interesting because later on, Thomas Kirchman would go on to play Van Helsing, and Redger Hauer played Dracula in the 2005 Dracula 3, The Legacy. Now this had a budget of 5.6 million euros, and brought in a box office of $673,000. So it was a commercial failure. It has a 3.6 on IMDb out of 10. It is the first time that Van Helsing, who is a Dutchman, was actually played by somebody from the Netherlands. It is also Argento's first 3D film. In a world of stylized teen vampires, Argento blends the classic with modern tech to give us a classic gothic Dracula. This entire movie was filmed in Italy, which really lends itself to the gothic feel. Ladies and gentlemen, I only have a few cons for this film, and the biggest con, of course, is the terrible 3D effects. The CGI 3D effects, they look like they came right out of the 80s, which in this case is not a good thing. This is a 2013 film. This should have had great 3D effects, and it was absolutely terrible. Now, aside from the lead roles, a lot of the acting is kind of wooden. And just in all honesty, Asia Argento's nude scenes, to me, are incredibly creepy. Now, normally, I wouldn't mind those scenes. I'd actually enjoy them a little more. But the fact that her father is the one filming this, and he's behind the camera watching his daughter nude, I get that they're professionals, but it's still fucking creepy. Now, as far as my pros go, the music, which is classic horror music, is amazing. I like the use of the painted sets. There are some scenes where you can tell it was definitely on a soundstage, and they use the old school painting backdrops. I love that this movie has a Hammer-esque look. It is very much done in the old style, aside from that stupid CGI. There is a lot of practical effects that have a very classic Hammer look to them, such as bright blood and just down-to-earth, old-school special effects. The filming locations of this take place entirely in Italy, which really lends itself to the old-world feel of this movie. I really do enjoy the added powers that Dracula gets, even though they don't come across very well sometimes with the 3D. And Rutger Hauer is very imposing and impressive as Van Helsing. Overall, guys, I really do like this movie. I know that this movie has been absolutely crapped on by everybody, and I definitely see why. But there's something about this that lends itself to the feel I've been in lately, the groove I've been in lately. With all of the classic um, Hammer films I've been watching, and uh, the other, you know, just kind of old school horror mood I've been in, this really did hit the spot as far as that goes. It's a modern film, but it hits the old school classic vibe. Guys, I enjoyed Dario Gentle's Dracula. Go into it with your eyes wide open, realizing that the effects are going to be shit, and you just might enjoy it. This is Bronco Juggalo saying thank you very much for joining me. I Peace out, y'all. <laughs>